Pero tu voz, oír tu voz, os pero tu voz, oír tu voz, os in this video, I'm going to go over five methods on how I program my drums on the MPC. Not only program my drums, but also add some swing to my drums. Now, before we go any further in this video, uh, let's leave our egos right at the door because I'll be the first to admit that my natural swing or my, you know, if I want to turn off quantization, I've done it before and it just breaks my beat apart. And you will be the judge of that and you know when your swing is not knocking. So if you're that person that's similar to me, these are five methods that I use. Uh, I've been using these five methods ever since I've been making beats and they've helped me so much to get around that limitation that I've had. Now there is something that I wanna make clear before we go any further is that if you have, or if you're sampling and chopping up a sample that already has drums in it, uh, just be very careful because as you're chopping that sample up, make sure you're, you're chopping up that sample on those down beats, whether it's the kick, the snare, or the hi-hat. It's on the down beat because if you're sequencing your samples and those chops are not chopped up correctly, it's going to sound really weird and the, the hi-hats are going to be all over the place and yours is it's just going to be very weird. So my recommendation, if you're somebody just getting started and you have drums in your samples, chop those samples up in quarter notes, meaning on the kick, on the snare, on the kick, on the snare, and making sure you're right on that kick and snare as you're sequencing these chops up. Then you add your drums on top. It's going to come together very good. All right, so for the first method, it's gonna be uh, very simple. Uh, we're gonna quantize our downbeat with our kicks. So as a matter of fact, we can add our kick and our snare, but all I'm going to record right now on the grid is gonna be the boom, bap, boom, bap. The simple, no ghost kicks, don't add any fancy ghost kicks or anything like that, just the downbeat of the kick and the snare. Uh, let's go ahead and do that and then we'll move forward. But make sure quantization is turned on. If you're on the MPC one or the MPC live to turn on and off quantization really fast, hold down shift TC. If TC is lit up, that means quantization is turned on. If TC is not lit up, that means quantization is off. So right now I want to make sure it's on. All right, cool. So it's pretty simple, right? Just the kick and the snare and everything is on beat. That's okay. Now I'm going to add uh, additional ghost kicks on top of that performance, but these additional uh, notes that I'm going to add are going to be off quantize. So I'm going to go and turn off quantize. And now these are going to be a little loose. They not may not be on the grid, but it's okay because as soon as the downbeat comes around, it's gonna be on beat. Those down kicks are going to be on beat and that's what's important for me. Oh, and one other thing is I'm going to make sure this is uh, the full level or full velocity is turned off because these ghost kicks that I'm going to add, uh, I don't want them to be on full velocity. I might want a little bit of variation with the velocity. Awesome. So that right there, obviously those other kicks that I added, they're pretty off. They're not really on the grid as it, and if we zoom in, we can see that these are nowhere at any grid, you know, so they might have some swing to it and play around with that method. It, it works very simple, very easy. And if you feel like you really messed that up, just hit undo and redo that again and add your natural groove on top of that. <laughs> So for our second method is going to be using the humanizer tool that your MPC is going to come with. What I'm going to go ahead and do right now is I'm going to perform a simple boom bap beat. It's going to be all quantized. Then we'll go to the humanizer and add some swing to our performance. <laughs> All 
All right, so I have this performance right here. As you guys can see, everything is lined up right on the grid. So it might sound a little boring, a bit robotic, but it's okay because if you go to your main menu, as a matter of fact, before I go into my main menu, make sure your entire performance is selected. Once everything is selected, you go to your main menu and right here where it says track, this little track section, you can hit this little pencil icon. And when you hit that pencil icon, you get this pop-up window and you'll see the humanizer. Click on the humanizer and right here, you have the amount of pulse. So I don't like to go too drastic. I'll keep mine like around 15 or 18%. And what this is going to do is going to shift around your notes. So it's gonna add some swing to your performance. It does its own thing. Um, if you guys want more information on all of this, you know, just what all this does, make sure you guys click the link up here. I, I do a video covering everything on the humanizer. But right now, I have my entire performance selected. I'm going to go to 18%. Now, before I hit apply, I'm going to let you listen to a bit of that performance quantized. So this is how it sounds quantized on the grid. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to apply this uh, humanizer tool and uh, obviously just hit apply and now let's hear what it did. All right, I actually like what this does. Uh, very subtle. If you want more of a swing, you guys can add more percentage uh, from 18 to 20 to 30. You guys can go pretty drastic with it. But as you guys can see, uh, they're not on the grid. Some notes are nudged backwards, some are nudged forwards, but it kind of creates your own swing or its own swing and it helps you out. I use this tool, don't feel bad for using this tool. I, I use it a lot. So sometimes it comes up with some interesting uh, grooves. But then again, uh, there's some times where I just don't like how it sounds and I'll try some of these other methods. <laughs> Now for our third method is using the 16 level velocity on your NPC. This is an awesome classic feature that all NPCs have. And this would just add, honestly, just adding variation with a uh, uh, velocity to your hi-hats, to your kicks and snares, that will add a swing. And sometimes I notice that I'm on the grid, but as long as I have variation with velocity, it feels different. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to be quantized turned on. I will add my hi-hats first. And as I'm adding these hi-hats, I'm gonna turn on 16, or 16 level. That's what it's gonna say on your NPC. And this pop-up window will appear. And where it says type, make sure you're on velocity. Sometimes, you know, it might be on something else, but make sure you guys scroll through where it says velocity and hit close. And now, you have uh, that that uh, pad just laid out in th into 16 velocity levels. So let's go ahead and add that. Uh, everything is on the grid, but there is variation in the velocity. And just that variation alone, you can kind of feel uh, a difference and a change up. And it's not just the same Da, 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 da. Like, no, there's a there's dynamics. So that's very important, especially since we're not live drummers. We're using these MPC pads and adding velocity changes uh, will add some dynamics to your performance. <laughs> Now going on to our fourth method, and this one's honestly one of my favorite or my go-to methods. Uh, the way I use all this is it's not always going to work, but if one of them doesn't work, I try the other method. If the other one doesn't work, I try another one, but it's usually I'm using these five methods that I'm sharing with you. Now, this method is very simple, very fast. Well, actually, it might seem tedious, but once you get the hang of the grid editor, this will be uh, really quick. So I'm going to quantize my entire performance, and I'm going to lay a you know pretty basic boom bap beat on the grid.
All right, so after I'm done doing that, uh, what I will do on this method is just nudging over each individual hit. I know it sounds kind of weird, like what? I'm not gonna go over that whole entire performance, but it's a little easier than it sounds. So what I'll do is for my snare, I'll select the snare, make sure the entire snare is selected, and I'll go and turn on nudge, and I'll hit uh, don't snap. Once that's engaged, I'm able, as long as that snare is selected, I can nudge it back a few samples. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll leave everything on the grid, and right now I'm going to select the snare, and I'll start taking it off the grid a little more uh, ahead of timing so you can listen to the shift that is going to give this performance. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to move on to the kicks, and on the kick, I'm going to go to some of these kicks, I'm maybe on the, on the second kick, and I'm going to nudge that a little later, so it's going to play a little bit behind, so this is how it's going to sound. I'm gonna add a kick over here. I want a second kick right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that. And I'm gonna nudge this one over a little bit. I'm gonna nudge this one over, I just added it. I'm also going to go to velocity and turn down the velocity. The reason why this is my favorite method is because I'm just kind of going right off the top of my head as I'm listening to that boom bap loop that I just added. And I'm able to add, take away, and experiment with this loop as I go. And um, another thing that I'll throw in here is kind of like a bonus is... If you turn on this 16 level button, I'm gonna select that kick first. Now I'm gonna turn off this 16 level uh, function. And instead of using velocity, I'll go over to where it says filter, hit close. This filter is really cool because this is your original kick. That's your original kick, but then it filters it down that kick. Pretty crazy, right? So I can add some ghost kicks that are filtered down using that same kick, but I'm gonna turn off quantize and let's overdub that. Awesome. So that right there is honestly my favorite method. Uh, I'm going through this video as quick as I can, but I would stick with this method and start adding, taking away and experimenting with this loop until I pr feel like I perfected it, the loop. Then I will copy that, duplicate it and, you know, take off some stuff or add some other uh, different hits on the duplicate version just to switch it up a bit. <laughs> And now for the fifth method, uh, this one's not going to be for everybody. I use this sometimes, but like I said, it's a hit or miss for me, but most of the time it's a miss, but I'll throw this in here is just simply turn off quantize. I know there are some people that are going to put that in the comments and those perfectionists of like, just turn off quantize. Well, yes, you could turn off quantize and just lay down your natural groove, but for me at least... It's a hit or miss, but most of the time it could be a miss. Uh, I have turned off quantize completely and I'm going to go ahead and add my natural groove to this. Those are my five methods. And let me tell you right now that if one method does not work, I tried the other one, but I promise you, I end up using one of these methods. 
These are my go-tos ever since I started making beats. This has been my way of performing, I guess, a, a, a swing to my drums without it being too robotic or too quantized. Now, if you have a method that I did not cover, please let me know down in the comments. I'm more than happy to learn from you as well. So uh, I hope you took something out of this video and this was something that is gonna help you in your workflow. Uh, again, thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed this content, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're not subscribed already. Thank you, I'll catch y'all on our next video. Peace. Tu voz, ouvir tu voz, os pro tu voz, ouvir tu voz, os pro.